beautiful beaches, vibrant markets and one of the fastest growing economies in West Africa. With a workforce of over 12 million, Ghanaians are showing why you want to invest in their economy. Considering the heat of West Africa, one thing that does not lack it is the trade. Africa's continental free trade agreement has certainly created an environment that allows for free trade and better trade. Ghana's economy grew at a very fast 5.7% in the second quarter of 2019. Yes, that may be a slowdown from the 6.7% in the quarter before, but considering that 80% of their economy is filled with just the informal, there is still room for avid growth. And markets like these certainly tell the story of where Ghana is headed. Marking 62 years of independence, it is formerly known as the Gold Coast. The first country in Africa to gain colonial freedom, Ghana holds its own as one of the giants of West Africa. With primary exports such as gold, crude oil and cocoa, this is a nation open for business but also keen to bring business to the rest of the continent. Ghana's industries are keen to form part of every step of the value chain. Despite the rapid and aggressive industrialization, the drive of entrepreneurs will stand the economy in good stead. Rasta, Rasta, you Textiles have become a central part of development with those selling kente fabric still seeing a fall in the barriers to entry. This for instance is called in satya in our language and it means all fingers are not equal. Above kente, there's no cloth that compared to kente and now because of the advertising and marketing aspect, people are patronizing, people are buying kente now. So if our weddings, the young girls are buying if you go to the social media, you can find everywhere can tell you the end. One advantage is you don't have imitation. You cannot do imitation. It is only traditional. It's totally made by hand. The hand-woven material is a prized royal addition to any garment, which continues to draw foreigners to its homeland. With the advancement of technology, one would think that hand-sewn crafts, much like the kente out in Ghana, are perhaps fading. But certainly not. The hustle and bustle of trade and indeed the textile industry continue to grow day in and day out. Finding business spots like these where you could perhaps get a whole lot of new material, whether it be for your suit or for that traditional outfit. It's with this rich history in textiles that tailors like Ate, who have had years of international reverence, are hoping to continue a tradition that has long exported this particular flavor of Ghana worldwide. Reducing tariffs is a good start for increasing trade within Africa, but important non-tariff barriers must also be reduced in order to boost trade both within and outside the continent. We place an enormously high uh, priority on our integration across Africa. In fact, I was in the US with um, a number of international investors and they were saying that they're finding the US-China um, engagement together with Brexit to be very unsettling and um, the policy uncertainty is driving a much higher interest in investment in Africa. And so for us to unlock the economic continental value between the countries is really important. Part of the work to be done is the connection uh, across the REC. So for example, if you're going from SADC to ECOWAS, to ensure that those tariffs come down. And then within the regional economic communities and uh, as well as across them, 
it's really important that we pay attention to non-tariff barriers. So for example, that we look at the trade logistics and reduce uh, the friction that comes with moving goods uh, from one country to another. The Standard Bank 702 54-in-1 portal. Brought to you by Standard Bank 702 and Cape Talk. More at ewn.co.za.